Omicron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling, pulse amplitude modulation, with four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each, 00011011. Each voltage step is only 250 millivolts. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. PAM4 is extreme signaling technology, and it's just becoming used in high-speed networking. The Ampere thermal architecture is the first ever flow-through design, working harmoniously with PC chassis cooling system, pulling in cool air from the outside, flowing through the GPU, and pushing hot air straight out the chassis. To allow room for a fan to flow air directly through the module, our engineers architect a super dense PCB design that is 50% smaller than previous while adding the bigger Ampere GPUs, HDMI 2.1, PCI Express 4.0, and G6X. There are two independently controlled fans. The bracket front fan pulls cool air from the bottom and pushes the heated air out through the graphics card brackets. A backside pull through fan passes cool air over the fins of the heat pipe and directs the hot air to the top and back of the chassis to be exhausted by the system fan. The 3080 flow through system is three times quieter and keeps the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the Turing design. It can cool 90 watts more than Turing. The generational leap is ultimately the most important factor of new GPUs. A significant technology advance is needed to inspire content developers to create the next level of content and for the install base to upgrade. Let's see how the 3080 stacks up the previous generation architectures on the latest graphics intensive games. 3080 is faster than 2080 Ti. 3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same price. Ampere is the biggest generational leap we've ever had. Ladies and gentlemen, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, our new flagship GPU, powered by Ampere, our second generation RTX GPU architecture. Incredible amounts of processing in the shader, RT ray tracing core, and Tensor Core for processing AI. 10 gigabytes of G6X, twice the processing power of 2080, and at the same price, starting at $699. Available September 17th. One of our most popular GPUs is the 70 series. 970, 1070, 2070 were all hugely popular. You're gonna love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti, the Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. Ladies and gentlemen, the new GeForce RTX 3070. Let me show it to you. It's a work of art. 20 shader teraflops, 40 RT teraflops, and 163 teraflops tensor core for AI processing. With eight gigabytes of G6, RTX 3070 is faster than the $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti, starting at $499, available in October. Every generation, we pack in our best ideas to increase performance while introducing new features that enhance image quality. Every couple of generations, the stars align, as it did with Pascal, and we get a giant generational leap. Pascal was known as the perfect 10. Pascal was a huge success and set a very high bar. It took the super family of Turing to meaningfully exceed Pascal on game performances without ray tracing. With ray tracing turned on, Pascal, using programmable shaders to compute ray triangle intersections, fell far behind Turing's RT core. And Turing with ray tracing on reached the same performance as Pascal with ray tracing off. On a technical basis, this was a huge achievement. The images are far more beautiful and reflection and shadow artifacts are gone but gamers want it more. They want every generation to be more realistic and higher frame rate at the same time. So we double down on everything. Twice the shader, twice the ray tracing, and twice the tensor core, the triple double. Ampere knocks the daylights out of Pascal on ray tracing. And even with ray tracing on, crushes Pascal on frame rate. To all my Pascal gamer friends, it is safe to upgrade now. Amazing ray tracing games are coming. Activision and developer Treyarch are launching a new Call of Duty on November 13th. It's a masterpiece and it looks incredible. There are dynamic lights, ray tracing, shadows and ambient occlusion, DLSS 
and NVIDIA Reflex Super Low Latency Technology. The last Call of Duty sold an amazing 30 million copies. Activision put together this trailer of never before seen footage. Enjoy. Let me talk to you about one more thing. Several years ago, we started building the Titan, pushing the GPU to the absolute limit to create the best graphics card of that generation. It was built in limited quantities only through NVIDIA. The distribution was limited. The demand surprised us. Creatives were making 4K movies, rendering cinematics. Researchers built workstations for data science and AI. Bloggers built broadcast workstations. Flight and racing simulation fans built sim rigs. There is clearly a need for a giant GPU that is available all over the world. So we made a giant Ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, the RTX 3090. Come here. Come here, Papa. Alrighty. 3090 is a beast, a ferocious GPU, a BF GPU, 36 shader teraflops, 69 RT teraflops, 285 tensor teraflops, and it comes with a massive 24 gigabytes of G6X. It comes with a silencer, a three slot dual axle flow through design, 10 times quieter and keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler than the Titan RTX design. But there's more. The 3090 is so big that for the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. This is insane. Because it's impossible for us to show you what it looks like on the stream, we invited some friends to check it out. Roll the clip. Hi. <laughs> this is Andy and this is Tim. Woo! I've never been more excited to do anything. <laughs> Oh my god. No way. This is f***ing incredible, dude. This is amazing. Oh, the resolution on this is silly. My god. You can see wear and tear on the treads. Look at this. Why is it so detailed? All right, all right, all right, all right. Move fast and shoot things. This is 8K, sir. I can see everything. Oh, I need to shoot you, though. Not a whole lot of people have seen something like this. This is so realistic. I feel like I'm really in battle. This is insane. Die, I want to look at the pretty things. There we go. Dude, the ray tracing is insane on this. These are the sizzle reels that you see. This is basically hacks. And then it's like, it'll never look like that, but it does. <laughs> I'm like looking across the vistas, the grand vistas that are happening right now. Holy sh look at this. This feels like a Disneyland experience. Oh, it is so smooth, it's butter. Oh, it's smooth as dude. I can't believe it's not butter. I mean, this is game changing. There's no other way to put it. My mind is blown, dude. Wow. It's been 20 years since the NVIDIA GPU introduced programmable shading. The GPU revolutionized modern computer graphics. Developers jumped on and invented clever algorithms, like shaders that simulate realistic materials, or post-processing effects for soft shadows, ambient occlusion, and reflections. Developers push the limits of rasterization beyond anyone's expectations. Meanwhile, NVIDIA GPU processing increased a stunning 100,000-fold. Gaming became a powerful technology driver. Gamers grew to billions, and gaming pushed into all aspects of entertainment and culture. If the last 20 years was amazing, the next 20 will seem nothing short of science fiction.
Today's Ampere launch is a giant step into the future. This is our greatest generational leap ever. The second generation NVIDIA RTX, fusing programmable shading, ray tracing, and artificial intelligence gives us photorealistic graphics and the highest frame rates at the same time. Once the holy grail of computer graphics, ray tracing is now the standard. And Ampere is going to bring you joy beyond gaming. NVIDIA Reflex to improve your response time. NVIDIA Broadcast turns any room into a studio. And Omniverse Machinima turns you into an animated filmmaker. We are super pleased with 3070, 3080, and 3090, the first three members of the Ampere generation. You're going to feel a boost like never before. I can't wait to go forward 20 years to see what RTX started. Homes will have holodecks. We will beam ourselves through time and space, traveling at the speed of light, sending photons, not atoms. In this future, GeForce is your holodeck, your lightspeed starship, your time machine. In this future, we will look back and realize that it started here. Thank you for joining us today and to all of our fans for celebrating the arrival of Ampere.